Hey guys, today's video is about how to create interlocking letters in Affinity Designer version 2. And to do so, we first need to start with the letters we want to use. So we go to the graphic text tool we find right here and type in the letters. In our case, it's S and C, making it bigger and choosing a font we want to use. Of course, you can also adjust the letters by using the note tool or something else um, to fit your needs. Um, for example, if you want to create some special logo and monogram logo, and in this case, I've chosen Morsara as font and chosen semi-bold as type. And the next step is removing it in the middle of the object so we can work better with it. The next step is to go right here and click convert to curves. And now we see we have um, converted the letters to curves and they are automatically grouped. So the next step is to go right click and go ungroup. And now we have both letters as curves separated and we can now start working with them. We first need to check if they are both at the same size because with some fonts um, they are not exactly the same size but in this case um, they are the same size and now we need to arrange them in the way we want to create the interlocking effect so um, it may be um, better to draw this up before creating if you're creating something new just to have it in mind how you want to um, um, how you want the effect to look like and in this case we're going with the c um, on the right corner right here in the bottom of the s something like this and the next step is selecting both of the curves by holding down command if you're using mac or control if you're using windows in the layers tab and then we need to go to stroke and we need to add a stroke, which is then um, what we cut out of the um, other letter to create this um, effect, interlocking effect, so that it looks like one letter is above another. And choosing something like two to begin with and changing the color so it is better visible. So selecting underneath swatches at the stroke right here and selecting a color, something like this. And we now uh, need to go with a line stroke to outside and maybe adjust a little bit more to 2.5 pt width. And the next step is going to a layer right here. And there we need to go to expand stroke, which creates separated curves um, from the stroke and leaves us with the basic curves again. So we have the curves now and the stroke we created as separated curves. And we can now select all of um, the layers and go with the new tool in Affinity Designer version 2, which is the Shape Builder tool. So this is one of the new tools in Affinity Designer 2. And we need now to go with the minus action, which is the letter selected areas from objects. And now select the areas we want to cut out. So this depends on which part of the letter should be above which um, part of the other letter. So in this case, we want the C to be above the S for this top part and underneath for this bottom part. So we need to cut out um, those right here. We can hold down and move to select multiple parts like this. And for the bottom part, we want the um, C, to P, uh, C to be underneath the S. So we need to select those and those parts. And now we can go with the move tool again, zoom out a little bit and simply select the curves and delete them. And now the next step is to select the S again, go with our um, shape builder tool and just remove this middle part. We can't do it beforehand because otherwise we would also cut out um, from the other letters because we selected all of the layers. So we need to do this after the, um, after the part. So now for the C again, so, uh, delete this one. And now we are finished with our um, basic um, um, interlocking effect. We can now change the colors if we want to. Of the C, for example, we could give some red tone. And we could also give a little shadow through quick FX, go to outer shadow where it is right here and something like 20% and 50 and 10 or something like 30 and here 40 
should look good and that way it makes the interlocking letter letters pop out of the background and yeah that's gonna do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye